was wondering when you'd turn up. I'm surprised you have that much faith in me. You know, I did find it quite a challenge to find you, being that you're on the run and all. What can I say? It was me that taught you so well after all. Well, so has the great Don Vito Corleone sussed out why I'm here? Oh, I have a hunch. You and me had a long run together, you know. <laughs> Almost too long. Anyway, enough of nostalgia. You're making you become quite rough around the edges. I remember when I first laid eyes on you. You were scrawny, a little shy, maybe even a little creepy. Never thought you'd handle this trade. I guess I did prove you wrong. You impressed me to begin with. I'll give you that. Say. Where's Lydia these days? It's been a while since our little encounter. Don't mention her here. Why not? She is your better half, after all. That was pretty clear when you first introduced me to her. There were times you could say that I thought you were a bit too close for comfort for my liking. That was on her part, not mine. I beg to differ. When truth is replaced by silence, it is a lie. You could be more wrong. Shall I tell you what happened that night? What night? To take me for a fool. You know what night. I met up with her. I took her to be a little get to know you affair at a bar. But then she took me outside. Little did I know what this was all about. I'm basically doing my fiancé's dirty work for him. What do you mean? He sent me to get to know you. So, what, are you some sort of a mole or something? If that's what you want to call me. So what else are you hiding from me? Nothing, Brad. It's just the type of industry you're in now. Would tell you to get out while you can, but it seems like you're in pretty deep. Why you? Because he's probably fucking some whore behind my back, leaving me to deal with you. What? Really that thick? Oh, I've known for ages. Why are you still? Why am I still with him? The same reason why I can't tell you to get out now. Because he probably put a bullet through me at the first chance he got, and believe me, I've had plenty of warnings. Has he ever... Hurt me? Oh, anyway, you pass. Lydia, you can't let him... Just walk me home, Brad. Well... Here we are. Come in, Brad. Oh, no, I can't. It wasn't a question. Besides, I've got something to show you. We shouldn't be doing this. You just need to relax. I have just a thing. What are those? Then you. Go on, I dare you. Where did you get these from? What Clive doesn't know won't kill him. Next minute we got high. Never felt such a thing in my life. We were kids again, in our own world.
Only the next day, I woke up in a whole completely different world. Cold, damp, and bound up. But I escaped. And now you're here. Now I'm here. Surprised you didn't figure out sooner how thick your recruits were. So... I'm going to ask you once. Why? You were not to be trusted. What the fuck did I do to not make you trust me? If it wasn't just for your fucking stupidity, could you be so fucking oblivious? Lydia. Nothing happened. We drank, we took some shit, nothing else. That shit you both took that night came from an adversary. And no, as a matter of fact, it wasn't the only thing to happen that night. Where is Lydia? She's dead, Brad. And your idea of a good time is what led up to it. It wasn't even my... You fucking coward. I knew from the very first day you were a sly bastard who wouldn't face up to what he does. You took her home that night to get a fucking high. Well, I bet that wasn't your only fucking intention. She told me how you threatened to put a bullet through her head if she ever crossed you. She showed me the fucking bruises. And you get pissed when you find out that I show her some fucking comfort. Nothing more! Neither of you could be trusted. Neither of us. You killed her. You came to find us the next day and you killed her there and then and held me captive. I think you'll run come to an end as well, don't you? Go on, prove you're no longer a coward. Yeah. <laughs>